Eastern Kentucky is just beginning the cleanup process after last week's devastating flooding. Extreme heat could impact those efforts. Jeff Paul has more. People across Eastern Kentucky face another challenge as they try to clean up after catastrophic flooding. Extreme heat and humidity will impact the region through Thursday night. Forecasters say at times temperatures could feel like they are in the triple digits. Multiple cooling centers have opened up across the region for those living without power or clean water. I'm, I'm completely homeless now. Hopefully we're going to try to rebuild and try to figure out, you know, some place to go to. The warm weather comes as search and rescue teams continue to look for anyone still missing. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir says restored cell service has helped many people reconnect with loved ones. But crews are still trying to reach residents living in hard hit areas. Some have been cut off after flooding and mudslides damaged roads and bridges. And most of these areas that are flooded do set down in valleys and houses were built, you know, a matter of feet from small creeks, which turned into be raging rivers after the flooding. Communities are now trying to salvage what's left of their homes and businesses. State officials estimate the rebuild could take years and cost millions of dollars. Earl Moore says neighbors will be here for one another no matter how long it takes. Eastern Kentuckians always stick together. We always have. It's like one family in this area. Several school districts have delayed the start of the school year as officials assess damage to buildings. In Lost Creek, Kentucky, Jeff Paul, Fox News.